All right, so welcome to the new, very humble recording studios of Barrett Knives. I've been away. I had to get doctor stuff done. I am 33 years old and now apparently doctor checkups are a thing. So, woo! <laughs> okay, but let's get to the point. We've got some more updates and I promise you that this channel is not just about updates, but here are some updates. Uh, this, as you can see, is sort of a new setup. It's not very special, it's not very glamorous, but I will be do using this area now to do a lot more YouTubes because I honestly really kind of love the YouTube thing. And I thought that we will diversify even more. So, number one, what are we doing to diversify here at Barrett Knives? Well, I am working on a new fantasy book series. It is called Ebon Peak, and I've got some big plans for it, and I'm looking forward to it. Of course, I have itch my nose. Of course, it will take some time because I've got a lot going on, and it's not making me any money, and I gotta pay bills. So, unfortunately, it's gotta go on the side. But the good news is that I am still full force at the forge and working on teaching an online course so that you can start bladesmithing and all that stuff. I, I even hear my voice going into that so all you gotta do is sign up now and you'll get one month okay you won't get a month free because i don't have it yet there's a little glitch with my skillshare right now also so i i can't get it up right now so how about instead a little show and tell of what's going to happen uh continuing on with my diversification we are working on a lot of fun projects. One of the projects I'm currently working on is redesigning a large version of the Denali blade. Uh, this is a big honking thing. Competition chopper size. Honestly, it's a, it's a little over an eight inch blade, so it's not that big, but it's much bigger than the original design of the Denali blade. It's pretty cool. Forgive me for my setup. I'm still learning lighting. I don't know. I may like YouTube, but I'm not very really good at it. I'm not what we would consider a YouTuber. Anyway, so uh, I also, not only am I working on the new book series, which you can find um, at barrett-knives.com. You'll see a link at the top to read chapter one, chapter two and three and four, all the way up to chapter five are coming. But right now, chapter one is up. There's also a link to a Patreon if you want to have more access to working with me on this book. You can have a strong voice, so to speak, in helping design characters and all that stuff. Super interested in that. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying, but now I'm back. So go check that out. Also check out Ebon Peak on Instagram because uh, and TikTok because there will be a lot of cool things going on there. And I also want to start a new mini series on my YouTube channel which is discussing, oh, I didn't expect to see a katana, did you? Some of the different sword builds throughout the years. This is a cheap one I bought off Amazon. But point is, I will be examining various blades throughout history and looking into some of the different ways they are constructed, some of the myths, some of the pros and cons of different types of steel and different types of weapons that they've used. This is very common on uh, YouTube, especially the katana. Man, the katana is ripped up on YouTube. But I thought it would be interesting to do it from a bladesmith's perspective, okay? So, a, be a, a, beef. a brief preview of what we'll be talking about is... I'm gonna start with katana, because I personally love the katana. I know there's a lot of myths and a lot of different things that are um, not true about it, but it's a little dirty. We will talk about this. See that squiggly little line? What is that? Traditionally, that is called a hamon. The only problem is this is a synthetic hamon. In other words, it's just ground with a grain structure to look like. A hamon. What it actually is, is evidence of a differential heat treatment, which was very, very common with Japanese blades, with the katana. And admittedly, the katana is kind of a vague term, but we'll get there. 
we'll do a, a whole separate video on it. But we'll talk about all the fittings and all the designs and whatnot. And for instance, do you know this is not called a blood groove? It's not actually called a blood groove. Call it fuller. I'll tell you more about that. Um, yeah, <laughs> we got some cool things coming. So we'll talk about some of the myths, some of the types of construction and uh, stuff like that. I don't know why I'm acting like I have a lot more to say because I don't. This is just a cheap $60 one off of Amazon. But you know, it does look cool. I'll give you that. So I don't know, I'm rambling now. So there you go, we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. I hope you like it. We're gonna start with the katana and then hopefully we're going to move on to things like the Viking Ulf Burtz, which is not how you pronounce it, and the Spyhander, which is also not how you pronounce it, but you know, that's what we're gonna be doing. So if you wanna see any of that, you know, subscribe, follow, Instagram, TikTok, Barrett Knives. Check out barrett-knives.com also. I've got more products on barrett-knives.com that are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Check it out.